Overnight, just nine kilometers from the evacuee reception center in Wildwood, a house, garage and shop on this family farm were leveled by flames tearing across Yellowhead County. The fire northeast of Wildwood continued to spread overnight and Yellowhead County declared a state of local emergency due, due to the increased fire activity and risk to residents and other infrastructure. It was hoped crews could get a better handle on the two fires on opposite sides of the Yellowhead Highway after dark. Last night we expected when the wind died down and the temperature dropped and the, the humidity came that the fire would slow. Um, it didn't slow as much as was anticipated. The risk made for a worrisome night at the evacuation centers. Around 500 people have been evacuated from the parkland blaze threatening Entwistle, and another 800 were forced to flee Evansburg and the Lobstick Resort subdivision. Oh, that feels horrible because you don't know, you know, if you're going to get burnt out or... Evansburg resident Susan Cameron was one of about 20 to spend the night sleeping in the community center. Two o'clock in the morning we finally got the cots in. Yeah, and uh, so they, we got little uh, toiletries and a cot and a couple of blankets, so that was nice. Residents now desperately waiting for news. Information like this isn't what they want to hear. The weather's not great for us. It's going to be against us for the next couple of days. The Parkland County fire is now two kilometers from the Yellowhead Highway and just two and a half from the town of Entwistle. We'll go in ahead of the fire front and we'll set up sprinklers and we'll start those sprinklers flowing water onto the properties so that there's no risk of that property being consumed. Um, as the fire approaches. That fire south of the highway started in Trestle Creek and has consumed 200 hectares of land despite crews attacking it from the ground and the air. We do have an update that the evacuation order will remain in effect for at least another 24 hours at this point. At least one home has already been consumed by the Parkland County fire as well. I'm really sorry but you know, this is too much of a risk to put people back in the community. Sarah Ryan, Global News.